Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Daymare 1998. When we last left off, we were exploring the Aegis facility. We have just reactivated or deactivated the security system. So let's go grab our Pollock sample, shall we? And then hopefully get the frick out of here. Well, as a zombie then. It's not a zombie, it's just our boy here uh, struggling to breathe. Oh, right, yes, we need to get the Pollock sample, don't we? I Oh, hello, getting ahead of myself. I'm going to need a fuller gun. I'm going to need a fuller gun. All right, I have not heard him say that before. That's kind of funny. There we go. How's that for a fuller gun? Right, not bad. At least her head is a bit fuller. I'm going to need a fuller gun. Hey, more diaries. Wow, just what we wanted. Aha. Right, well, apparently that's another super secret. So we need HB486. 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 Aha! God's last memory. It's a, it's a pretty long memory. When the agency sent me here a few months back, I thought it was just another job. I've worked with several organizations over the, pers uh, the past 25 years, but as soon as I got here, I knew that I'd never worked one with this much security. An easy job with benefits, they said, that pays exceptionally well. Examine IDs, security checkpoints, a couple of nights on call, or glued to a row of monitors with a backup of a system that's so advanced it should be getting quadruple my salary. What's never been explained to me though is what goes on in the basement levels. I knew this place was somehow involved in making weapons, this much I was warned about early on, but I never managed those weapons to be weird melted things straight out of a lunatic's nightmare. I'm afraid to look into those mon uh, monitors to see people turning into monsters that attack other people without trace of remorse or letting up. I've tried to reach help several times, but my backup, this damned emergency system, continues to do its job and locked the whole place down after the accident. I'm leaving this note behind because I know it's only a matter of time before those things get me too. Before I'm reduced to a grotesque heap of skeletal remains, if flesh is truly the dungeon of the soul, I guess it will be released. If only I'd listened to you this time. Farewell, Kurt. Well, Kurt, it is unfortunate. Very unfortunate, Kurt. Looked like his face was eaten, which was a little bit awkward, but, you know. He could have locked himself in the cell, to be fair. Unfortunately, I don't think that would have saved him, to be fair. Because we haven't actually seen how these zombies attack yet, but they don't attack by biting. Another over... How many override cables do we have now? Three? Yeah, we don't... We don't need three. That's kind of a lot, to be honest. Anywho. Ah, I'm going to have to drop something. Uh, I guess we're going to eat that. Can't actually combine it with anything. You just eat it. And we have our sample. Now, let's get out of here. This is Liev. About time. What the hell happened? I've retrieved the 731 samples. Now I'm heading over to the server room to gather the search data. Over. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, these zombies don't actually attack by uh, biting you. They just, like, grab hold of you and puke on you. Uh, which, with a highly corrosive acid substance. 
which is delightful. But they're not actually that dangerous. Hey, you! Drop your gun and let me see your hand! Right now! Sorry. I thought you were one of those dead, melted thingies that killed the others. Yeah, well, I ain't. And you almost got shot in the head, whoever you are. You know, I, I'm no threat to you. My name's John. John Fay. I work for Aegis in the information science department. Well, mostly in the server room. I've been hiding down there for hours since all hell broke loose. All communications are down, and I didn't think anyone would risk their lives to actually save us. What the hell happened to this place? I'm not sure exactly, but I don't think it was accidental. How do you mean? Well, I can access anything via the server. The security system, surveyors, cameras, and naturally, the personnel, files of all the Aegis employees. I've been trying to reconstruct exactly what went wrong. And actually, you'd be amazed at what somebody can achieve down here in just a few hours. Anyway, I think it's safe to say that one of our own stole some research covered the whole up as an accident, obscuring all evidence of their damnable theft. Huh. You don't say. I'm gonna need that fancy ID card of yours to access the server. But why? Why do you want to access the server? I thought you were actually here to rescue us. Technically, those were your words, not mine. Sorry, bud. Orders are orders. But what, what about the others? All the survivors in the building. You're not gonna let us die here. No, you're right. I guess I can't. I mean, especially you. Oh, what the heck. I'll lend a hand. <laughs> it's just like... What? I mean... I mean, why not, I guess. Sure. Um, pretty sure this guy gets up. Later on. Uh... What else we got going on in... Oh! Hey? That was weird. Alright, whatever. Uh, yeah, so... Let's have a little fiddle with the server. Now, before we fiddle with the server, we can have a little read of this here. Dear brother, I can't explain too much, but this chat will be useful in case something happened to... In case something happened to me. Love you, James. Uh, Max, good evening. K gives you the green light to retrieve what we discussed earlier. Job th uh, 314. God damn it, where have you been? I've been waiting two whole days for confirmation. I was just about to call it off. Max, we had to take extra precautions to help ensure the mission's success. You're just one part of a much wider strategy. Job 314. Listen, something unexpected came up. Some high-ranking army general is ha uh, arriving this week. Uh, that's the one we read from the secret log. So they're increasing the security levels. I need more time. Max, you don't have more time. We can't afford another delay. There are measures in place to deal with these kinds of situations. Proceed as planned. Job 314. I'm risking my life here. A sentence of life without parole, if not immediate execution. The punishment for treason in a place like this is anything but conventional. I need more reassurance, or at least another advance from the final payment. Max, we've already given you more than enough money to compensate you for your troubles. Unofficially, unofficially I would advise you to stick with Kay's plan, or a speedy execution will be the least of your worries. Job 314. Alright, alright. I just hope I have the guts to leave this damn bunker behind. Max, stick with the plan and all your troubles will be gone. I repeat, green light, that is all. Max, disconnected. Then we have email two. Dearest Alma, at last, the opportunity I've been waiting for has arrived. I can't go into specifics right now, but trust me and believe when I tell you that our lives will change for the better. I can finally leave this place behind and go with you wherever your heart desires. There's no time like the present, is there? 
Of course, the risk is great, but don't worry about me. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Love always, your Jay. Well, how did that go for you, huh? Not that great, I'd wager. Right, purification. Uh, maybe he doesn't. Evacuation sequence activated. Okay, let's get out of here. About time. Come on. Thank you. Wow, this bit's loud, apparently. Who would have thunk? Right, let's get the old uh, fun gun out. Don't get a lot of opportunity to play with this, sadly. Alright. Come on. Yay. Yay. Alright. Fair enough. Yeah, you know the drill. You know the drill. It's one of these sections. Come on, sir. Luckily, it's not the, you know, most challenging situation to be in. Which is fine. Now, you don't technically have to fight these guys. You can just uh, run past these guys or run around in circles, but you also just have a bit of fun with it, like we are here. Right, how's it going? Yes, sir. Thanks, Crane. Just 
It's just so off. Sam Walker. I'm out at the game tower at Hunter's Pass. Come in, over. Officer Cleese, Kenneth speaking. Go ahead, Sam. Oh, hey, Ken. I don't want to rain on your parade, but some chap in here took my head off not five minutes ago. Do you know anything about that? Over. you can although next time uh, you know i'd be mighty grateful for any notice over and out <laughs> hey baby it's me Turn off the lights in the house, otherwise, you'll have to refuel again before daybreak. I know. Um, Sam, I'm not sure if I'll ever get used to living out in these woods. It's just so isolated. So, why'd you call, baby? Need help booking some rest for your raccoon? <laughs> Funny. You know, maybe. I'm still on duty. Listen, I was just on the radio with Kent, so I thought I'd check in on you. And I feel bad about not being able to take you to the cherry blossom feast. I don't know how much it means to you. It's just, well, you know how the night shift works. I know all too well. Ken, did something happen? Uh, no, 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 nothing to worry about. I just had a near miss in the tower involving some bozo in a helicopter. And, ho hold on a second. Shit, I, I can't find my meds. I must have dropped him when that chopper went past. Uh, God only knows where they ended up. That's not good, Sam. You know you need those four... Don't... Don't start that again. I'm fine. I can manage it. I've been living with... With this for a long time now. Sam, you know what happened the last time you didn't take them? How could I forget? With you constantly reminding me. Listen, I, I, I gotta go, baby, okay? Don't worry about a thing. It's just a few more hours... Go to bed, and if there's some rest, I'll be home in the morning. I love you. I, I can manage it. I can manage it. Just like last time. Uh, Major, uh, what's going on here? Uh, David, help me, please. Uh, Don't move, Reed. Put the uh, weapon down.
Um, <laughs> I mean, what can you say about that? That was uh, that was definitely a cutscene, and there were words coming out of people's mouths. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, yeah, the characters in this game like to say a lot of words. The words don't necessarily make a huge amount of sense, but they they like to talk words but let's just say that it's very strange and odd it, it's like if an you asked an ai to create dialogue it's, anyway so for some reason everybody turned on each other well or at least uh you know lev started shooting sandman because they obviously have a hatred for each other for some reason well at least lev hates sandman anyway um david <laughs> who's like i don't know some child uh i guess is obviously being kicked out of the helicopter and everything's fucked great anyway after having thrown himself out of the 4r geo helicopter a special agent lev emerges from the waters of keensight bay just in time to witness the helicopter spiraling out of control behind the town's buildings before plummeting into the nearby mountain he swims for shore and the airborne caster contaminant aboard the chopper simultaneously leaks into the streets where it claims its first victims when he reaches the harbor he won't have much time to find a safe refuge to avoid being infected yeah uh Okay, so we're still playing Agent Lev, and we've stolen the virus. And the way that Damn. these boats Gasoline are moving is the entire tower. curious. Not hold her for long. I have to find a place to take refuge. Ah, we're going to be fine. Don't you worry about it. So yeah, so uh, basically everything's been infected. Uh, like two seconds ago. Hey! Give a gift, offer financial support, and more importantly, show how enthusiastic you are by decorating your home and painting the sheets, uh, the streets red, white, and blue to make Keensight the most festival or festive place in America. Hey, our red friend has arrived again. Yeah, very, very odd, very strange how, like, instantly there are zombies and. Um, what would you call them? Just like skeletons everywhere. I mean, it seems to have happened very quick, don't you think? Luckily, we can stop and read. Your summer starts with Keen Sight, Idaho, a charming town with a long tradition and history awaits you amidst stunning scenery in the heart of the uh, Red Crest Mountains. Come and enjoy a pleasant, relaxing moment in one of our hotels. Camp in the beautiful Vermilion Forest, fish in the quiet Bear River, or stop along the historic Lewis and Clark Trail route where our ancestors laid the foundation stone. And if you'd like to take part uh, in a truly unique experience, join us in August for a refreshing and original taste of apples at the annual Apple Blossom Fair, a tradition that Keensight, Keensighters have been celebrating every summer for over 80 years. Keensight has partnered with Hexacore Biogenics in order to, create, uh, to generate growth and stability during the years. A company takes care of most of the 27,000 citizen of citizens of our town employees as employees making keen sight a safer place dedicated to families hexacore biogenetics has helped create many public facilities to make this town a better home for everybody please enjoy your stay in my lovely city thank you neil carson keen sight mayor yeah if you haven't guessed this is uh raccoon city yeah they're not exactly trying to hide the fact that this is raccoon city but it's fine. It's all fine. Let's just get to where we need to go. No point really stopping and fighting. See you later, suckers. One of the few times where running is kind of useful, I guess. Oh, hello. You naughty little sausage. Get off me. You are. 
Oh, we don't even have a gun out. Every time you start a new chapter, you, you put your gun back. Have no, and turn your flashlight off as well. Alright, whatever. Let's get inside. Luckily, inside, our oxygen mask can recharge. How's that? Three bullets enough for you? There you go. So we've got enemies outside making a bit of a noise. But that's fine. We don't care about them. Nice little energy bar. And you know, probably not a terrible idea. I don't think enemies can actually open doors. Let's eat that energy bar. There we go. Yeah, he really didn't do too much damage to us at all. Uh, you can take a lot of bites from zombies. And anyway, back outside. Let's get out of here. Evening there, sir. Nice to meet you. The pleasure's all mine, I'm sure. I don't actually mind this, to be honest. It's kind of cool. Also, uh, worth noting, your stamina recharges really quickly. And again, I don't mind this. Damn you, Sandman. This was not part of the plan. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, well, it might not have been part of the plan, but we're kind of stuck with it now, aren't we? Come on, sir. That's it. Pretty sure this is the door we need to get to. Yep. Evening. Wow. All right. Good night. Okay. So we've got 16 rounds in that magazine. Nice. I guess we might as well top that one off for that. Let's freeze up an item space. Um, yeah, we're down to four bullets. You know what? Let's... God damn it. It's bloody inventory. I, I swear this inventory. Right. Why can't... Alright, it's not giving me the option. Sometimes <laughs> you can unload your gun, but for some reason it's not giving me that option. Oh, file code.